How to use Wipox Pen Disclaimer This video has been created by Vocard Nephrology and is intended for educational purposes. The objective is to ensure that the patient is able to understand all features of Wipox Pen and is able to use it with ease and confidence. Please consult your doctor for specific questions on erythropoietin administration. All the necessary information and step-by-step -step instructions regarding the use of dose from Wipox Pen have been provided in this video. Wipox Pen is an easy-to-use erythropoietin injection designed to administer erythropoietin from a 3 ml Wipox cartridge to be used with a reusable pen. Wipox pen consists of A. Cartridge B. Pen body C. Cartridge holder D. Needle and needle cap E. Dose dialer F. Dose indicator G. Display window H. Pen cap Now let me help you understand how to use Wipox pen. Inserting cartridge First, remove the pen cap and unscrew the pen body. Ensure that the internal plunger is fully retracted before loading cartridge into the cartridge holder. In case it is not retracted, hold the white head of the plunger firmly and rotate the pen body in clockwise direction and push the plunger for complete retraction. You can also retract the plunger by pushing it with the thumb. Load Wipox cartridge in the cartridge holder with the metal cap in first. Screw the cartridge holder into the pen body. Inserting needle. Remove outer protective flap of the sterile needle and attach firmly by screwing it into the threads at the tip of pen cartridge holder. Do not push, screw gently. Remove both the protective caps from the needle. Priming Always ensure that there are no air bubbles before you take your injection. This process is called priming. It is important to prime the pen before use to ensure full dose delivery. Ensure that the dose window displays digit 0. Dial 2 units or 2 clicks by rotating the dose dialer. Hold Wipox pen with the needle pointing up. Tap the cartridge holder gently with your finger few times to raise any air bubbles to the top of the cartridge. Push the dialer completely. The dose indicator points to zero. A drop of erythropoietin appears at the tip of the needle. Removal of air bubbles and a drop of erythropoietin at the tip means that your pen is primed. Wipox pen is now ready to use. Injection Site You can take your injection in the upper arm, stomach, thighs or buttocks. It is recommended to have different injection sites during each use to avoid any injury or discomfort to your skin at the same location. Before taking the dose, make sure that the site is cleaned and disinfected. You can make use of a cotton ball and an antiseptic. Just put in a few drops of antiseptic on the cotton ball and apply on the site. Dose Selection Make sure that the dose window displays digit 0. Dial the required amount of erythropoietin by rotating the dose dialer in clockwise direction. The digit that appears on the dose window indicates the amount of Wipox dialed by you. In case you dial more than the actual dose, you can easily correct the dose by simply rotating the dialer in reverse till correct dose is displayed. Do not push or press the dialer while reverse dialing. Administration Insert the needle at the site of injection using the injection technique recommended by the doctor. Press the dialer completely with the thumb till dose indicator points to zero. Make sure that the thumb is at the back end of dose dialer. Continue to hold the pen firmly. Count till 10 and remove needle from the skin. 
post injection instructions reattach the white outer protective needle cap and remove the needle it is important to remove and throw the needle after every injection hold the cartridge holder when you unscrew the needle dispose of the needle in the dustbin after the dose is injected cover the pen with pen cap without removing the cartridge and store it in your refrigerator to maintain it between 2 degrees celsius to 8 degrees celsius replacing the cartridge to replace an empty 3 ml vpox pen cartridge unscrew and remove the needle unscrew cartridge holder from the pen body and remove the cartridge and replace it with a new one storage vpox cartridges should be stored between 2 degrees celsius and 8 degrees celsius they should be stored in the middle or upper shelf of refrigerator do not store vpox in any section of the freezer or the tray below it keep the cool pouches in deep freeze freeze the cool pouches at least for 48 hours before use they will be useful to store vpox in case of power failure or to carry vpox while traveling important precautions it is advisable to use a new sterile needle for every injection also make sure that the pen is primed and a drop of erythropoietin is there at the tip of the needle if you need more dose than the amount left in the cartridge take your full dose from a new cartridge only if trained or advised by your doctor you may split your dose in two cartridges always take your dose on time as recommended by your doctor do not skip your dose to get reminders of your routine doses you can seek help of med remind tab located under resource library vpox cartridge fitted in vpox pen devices has to be injected by subcutaneous route only vpox cartridges should not be shaken frozen or exposed to light maintain the ideal temperature conditions do not keep it back into the vpox pen kit do not roll or rub the pen in between your palms before administration or any other time rough handling or misuse could cause inaccurate dosing you can clean the pen with a wet cloth do not immerse it in water as it may damage the pen try not to expose your pen to dust dirt or liquid do not clean your pen with any solution containing alcohol iodine or any detergent discard cartridge within 60 days after first dose withdrawal remove it carefully from cartridge holder and replace it with a new one for your next dose requirement dispose of the used cartridge into the dustbin vpox pen should be removed from refrigerator only for your next dose requirement and not for any other purpose for your next dose remove the pen from refrigerator wait for 4 to 5 minutes and then use do not refill vpox cartridges vpox cartridges should be used with vpox pen only do not substitute it with any other pen it is important to follow the erythropoietin medication prescribed by your doctor never share needles or cartridges or pen device with anyone else always keep the cap on the pen to protect the medicine inside it from light never use a bent or damaged needle always check the cartridge as soon as you receive it make sure that the full dose is filled inside the cartridge with no cracks or damages do not count the pen clicks to select your dose the number displayed on the dose display window should match with your prescribed dose while loading the dose the dose dialer should turn easily do not force it to turn during administration inject by pressing the dose dialer do not rotate it thank you for choosing vpox pen your guide to a responsible epo therapy